Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Uh, here I am uh, on Brook Street in London. Behind me you can see the um, blue plaque on the brown uh, brick building. And that's uh, where Handel lived, Georg Friedrich Handel. So he was born in Germany. Obviously Germany wasn't a united country at the time. And his father, he was head of music for some um, German potentate, one of the northern German states. He was brought up uh, a Protestant. Uh, anyway, uh, in 1714, George I came over from Hanover uh, to become King of Great Britain and the King of Ireland. He remained Elector of Hanover, which was ruler of Hanover. And uh, Handel uh, came over sometime afterwards, and he was a composer, really. raised the standard of music here because music in the British Isles wasn't up to much. Um, so he was a royal composer, composed um, whatever, La Réjouissance, um, uh, music for fireworks and I can't remember the other ones, various royal occasions. Um, Zadok the Priest and the Hallelujah Chorus, um, which was first performed at the Music Hall on Fishamble Street, Dublin by the choirs of St. Patrick's Cathedral and Christchurch. Um, so this is where he lived, towards the northern edge of, of London in those times, Handel. He never wed, he's not known to have had any romantic relationships. You can go in that red door and look around his flat, which is furnished as, as faithfully to, as, as it originally was. And he worshipped in the church uh, not very far away, unfortunately you can't see it from this angle. So that's Handel, well worth going in and having a little window into the 18th century. Um, by a bizarre coincidence, right next door in this White House, that is where Jimi Hendrix lived in the late 60s. He died in 1970, the age of 27. Jimi Hendrix, the head of the, head, uh, the um, Jimi Hendrix experience, all along the watchtower, Hey Joe, Foxy Lady, those are some of his hits. Uh, an African-American guy when um, there were not that many black people here in the United Kingdom. Uh, he had some Cherokee ancestry as well, I think. Uh, so he was very much en vogue in the late 60s. He died at the Samarkand Hotel of a drug overdose. It no longer exists. It's somewhere like Notting Hill, which was um, quite bohemian, quite raffish and edgy at the time. So that's that. You can also see that house too. Um, anyway, do go in. They're scintillating. And when I was there in Handel's house, this is donkey's years ago now, uh, they even had a recording of Alessandro Mascheri, the last ever castrato, as in a man who'd had his gonads removed for the purpose of being able to sing in a particular voice. He died in about 1928. That's all. Toodaloo.